What's up guys, welcome back to Everything Engineering. Today we're going to look at solving the support reactions and then draw these shear and moment diagrams as you can see in the title. Um, and we're looking at a beam structure with a fixed support at A, we've got an internal hinge at B, a internal support roller at C, and then a uh, free end at D. And our loading consists of a 12 kilonewton or should be a 12 kip force at uh, at point D and then a distributed load of 2 kit per foot for the entire structure and it's uh, in increments of 12 feet so basically first of all we want to draw the idealization of our of our structure here so we can look at point A start off there and because we're dealing with an internal hinge we always want to break that up make things easier internal hinge, internal hinge, and then we know that because there's a fixed support at A, we're going to have a horizontal and a vertical support reaction. So we have our vertical, let's call it AY, and then we're going to have our horizontal, let's call it AX. And then it's a fixed, so it's going to be a moment resistance as well. And then let's call this BY from our internal hinge. And then because we broke this up, we made a cut here at the hinge, this internal reaction is going to have to be equal and opposite on the other side of our cut at this hinge. Now look, if you look over here, we can see that from A to B, we have two in the up direction, two reaction forces in the positive vertical direction. Um, right now, it doesn't really matter which direction you choose, everything will work out in the end when we sum all of the forces in the y direction, we'll either get a negative BY or a negative AY, which then shows that our initial assumption of direction was incorrect. So right now, we'll leave it like this, and I'll show you later that it doesn't matter in the end. So. Now we have our roller support at C. Since there's no horizontal resistance for roller support, we only have a vertical uh, support reaction at C here. And now we have our D. And there's no reaction here, so we're just going to leave a free surface. And now we'll draw in our loads. We have it. What we want to do is we want to sum the forces in the y direction for the outside object, disregarding the fixed support right now, so you just want to deal from B, C, and D support elements. So let's check this out. Some forces of Y equals zero. So I'm not going to draw the some of the forces in the X direction because there is no horizontal forces, so let's just deal with the Y direction right now. So we've got negative BY because it's going down, plus CY because it's in the positive direction, minus 12 because it's going down, and then also minus 2 kit per foot. So we have 2 kit per foot. And since we're dealing with B to C and C to D, the whole thing is going to be 24 feet. 24 So we can see that the feet cancel out and negative BY plus CY equals 60 kip. Now we've got our first equation. So negative BY plus CY equals 60 kip. Now what else do we know about an internal hinge? We do know that at an internal hinge, there will be a shear force, of, as we've shown here, as BY, but the moment at any hinge, similar to a pin or a roller support, is always going to be equal to zero. So now let's sum the moments at point B. So we have t equals zero. Oops. So we've got. 12 feet 
and we'll go positive in the counterclockwise direction, which is pretty conventional. So counterclockwise CY plus times 12 feet and that's the only positive direction. So now everything, all the, the reactions or the, the applied forces, the 12 is going in the clockwise uh, direction. So it's minus 12 times 24 because it's 12 and 12 distance away from our hinge at B and minus 2 kit per foot and now we want to take the area of the distributed load so it's 2 times 24 which is the total area of our distributed load and now we want to times it by the centroid of our uniform distributed load and because it's just a square we're just going to it's going to be at the halfway point so it's 12 feet away from our joint B so now we can solve for CY. So that was our second equation. So now if we go back up to our first equation, we've said that, okay, CY minus BY equals 60. So therefore, BY must be equal to 12 kit. So minus BY plus 72 equals 60. Therefore, B y is equal to 72 minus 60 equals 12. Now we'll check out a to b. So let's do the x direction first. So the forces in the x equals 0 because we know there is an, a potential horizontal reaction force at a fixed element equals 0 and because there's no applied force in the x direction ax is equal to 0. So I can cross that out. Now we will sum the forces in the y direction, all the equals zero, showing that we are in equilibrium and there's no movement of our structure. So we've got AY plus BY minus two times 12, because we have, again, the two kit per foot uh, uniform distributed load and then our length of our beam in this segment is 12 feet. And that is all equal to zero. So we can say that therefore AY is also equal to 12.